Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 24, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally from the bottom here of, uh, uh, of 89 all the way up towards in 92. Then gave most of those gains back. And then we bounced from the 200 moving average. And that is a fairly significant bounce. Uh, if you don't break below the 200 moving average again, then we'll probably see this bounce continue. And if we manage to take out these previous highs here at 93, then we'll probably go into 9, uh, 95 and then beyond. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, last time we did break above the 200, went down. We did not bounce. We just slashed straight through, straight through the 200 moving average and did not bounce like we did today. And of course, when this happened, uh, most of the indices basically uh, fell significantly. And uh, we probably have, we, we couldn't have another test of the 200 moving average. If we were to break down, then we'll probably have a test of the 20 exponential down here at 90.95. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at oil. So oil continues to rally. We went got all the way up towards roughly nine, 73 or 74 dollars. Hit the top of the bullish band and then got rejected really heavily. And at this point, we could fall back towards the middle of the bullish band at around 70. That's probably where most buyers will come back in. If we were to break 70, then we have the 50 or the previous highs here. That is basically at around uh, 67 and uh, 75 and then we have the 50 moving average down here at 66 and that sh probably should be as far as this market will go at this point it is still an uptrend and um, expectations for this market is that we are going to at least 77 and probably beyond that some saw some report that we will probably go to um, to a hundred dollars at the end of 2021 that that is to be seen that is quite far into the future but as long as we are bouncing off the 50 and the 20 exponential we are going to go higher and um, yes it it doesn't look like there is um, any bearishness that will see this market completely fall apart it is not until we have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 and the 20 exponential dropping below the 200 moving average and that will uh, see this market completely fall apart we see it right here that was the beginning of uh, the coronavirus where we have a crossing of the 50 and also crossing of the 20 exponential of the 200 moving average and then this market just completely crashes to the downside so we are far away, 200 moving average down here. And so there's a long way for this market to fall uh, for uh, to, in order to change directions. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas got all the way up towards 3.39 and then gave most of those gains back. And now we're trading at 3.33. So at the moment, we were very overstretched. We could see this pull back towards the 20 exponential or just continue grinding higher in this market so at the moment we need to take out these previous highs I and mean, we actually got to those previous highs today and got rejected if we manage to break above that then we can go and look at where we will find the next uh, resistance and that will probably be around uh, here and that's at 3.7 and then we have these very highs here up at the uh, 4.5 and 4.7 so technically we shouldn't be here um uh, usually we have a decline this time of year and we have an increase in, later in the winter months but we have been rallying since um, uh, 2.47 and um, it has been fairly reliable when we got in close to the 20 exponential in the middle of the bullish band that we have bounced bounce from those points so you can see here fell towards the 20 exponential and rallied significantly and as long as that is the case, we'll just grind higher in this market. Technical indicators are very bullish indeed at this point. So yes, the higher will go, but we could see this pullback and then bounce continue. Yes, let's look at copper. So copper has had a very interesting, uh, basically uh, two months, you could say that. So 
we hit the very highs here in the beginning of May, broke down all the way down towards the 4.075. And then the last uh, three days, uh, we have been recovering. Doesn't mean that we are going back to the previous highs here. The question is whether or not when we rally up towards the middle of the Bollinger Band that we will get rejected either from the 20 exponential, the 20 uh, simple moving average, or the 50. So similar to what we saw here, broke down, rally, broke down, and then we'll probably go towards the 4 and probably also the 200 moving average down at 3.7. So that is to be seen. At the moment, we are recovering here in the in the in the technical indicators, MACD is still bearish, so stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. But these two indicators are turning around, and it's only going to be a matter of a few days before those become bullish, if this continues. So let's look at gold. So gold is uh, struggling, actually, to get above 1800. So we got all the way up towards 1793, uh, and then this really got rejected. So US dollar started to appreciate and basically bounce from the 200 moving average and we basically saw the effect of that. We also see that we have a crossing here at the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average and uh, we have not a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average. It usually should, uh, should have been a bullish sign but it looks like the 50 is going to get rejected here and the 20 exponential is going to cross um, um, between them. And that could mean that we'll have a 200 moving out, no, 20 exponential moving this way, and we'll basically get rejected of the 20 exponential going forward. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is a bearish, the stochastic is flat, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is kind of bearish at this point, and you're on the edge of being oversold. So we'll probably have a continuation of this rally. But the question is whether or not we're going to be rejected at the 20 exponential when it starts moving in in the negative direction. So let's look at silver. So silver has tried to bounce from the 20, 200 moving average and really got rejected. This is a horrible looking candlestick. But the question, the question is whether or not there is room to the downside in order to break significantly below the 200 moving average. I would say probably not. Uh, we are at 33 in the RSI. We are uh, almost oversold. Probably what's going to happen here is that we're going to rally again up towards the 20 exponential. The RSI will become higher and then we'll have another uh, have a rejection at the 20 exponential and then break below the 200 moving average. Kind of looks like the 200 moving average is going to the 20 exponential is going to move this way. 200 moving average is going to move this way and then we have a crossing of those two. And in the long run, we'll probably also have a crossing of the 50 when it will go this way and then we'll go lower. But that is to be seen at the moment. The 200 moving average is still holding and uh, moves to the upside have been rejected at this point. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has rallied above the 200 moving average, but we um, gave most of those gains back today at 1100. Technical indicators are slowly turning around, but they're still most of them are bearish. Stochastic in the CCI MACD, sorry, is bearish. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So, question is whether or not when we get towards the 20 exponential at 11, um, 11, uh, 26, whether or not we get rejected there or not. If we do get rejected there, then we'll probably drop back towards the previous lows here at the 10, 32 and then towards the 1000. So that is what we're going to look at for that for. So pallium. So pallium has a bounce from the 200 moving average. It got significantly overstretched here, oversold. And now we're kind of turning around. And the question is also here whether or not we are going to get rejected at the 20 exponential in the middle of the bullish band. So We'll probably go up this way and then we'll turn around and head back down. If we manage to break above here, then we're going back towards the 103,000. But that is to be seen. Break below the 200 moving average, drops this to 2250. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium continues to rally. We went to the bottom here at 2337. 
and we're struggling to get past the down 20 exponential at the 24 7. Technical indicators we can see are fairly mixed. The MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish uh, as well. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has uh, recovered really nicely this week. We're trading about the middle of the bullish band, and now it looks like we're going back towards this previous highs here at 18,500, give or take. Break above these points here, we have a triple top of that could mean that we'll rally up towards the 20,000, 90,000 first, 90,500, and 20,000 will probably be the target, which is the previous highest over here. Get rejected here, then we could drop back towards the 200 moving average at 16,680. Technical indicators, they are few of them are bearish, and the MACD is bearish still, but otherwise, other ones are turning around and indicating that momentum is definitely to the upside. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has to try to recover. We had this massive fall here in the last three weeks and uh, we found the bottom at 0 0.1615 and now we are trying to recover. But we have a crossing here at the 20 exponential and the 50 indicating a bearish move to the downside. And in the long run, it looks like we are going to head towards the 200 moving average down at 0 0.1551. Technical indicators are slowly turning around, but they are still bearish. MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has uh, really done well the last four trading days. We're tra testing the previous highs here. We've managed to break above that. Then we're going to 0 0.90. And then beyond that, um, we'll probably run into massive resistance here at the top of the bullish band as we're also approaching overbought conditions. Um, so that is to be seen. The pullbacks will mostly find support at the middle of the bullish band at 0 0.84. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. So let's look at cocoa. So Kokoa is uh, struggling at the 20 exponential. It looks like we are just going to grind lower and lower. And at some point, we are going to break uh, this uh, triple bot uh, bottom here. We see it here, here, here. And if that breaks, then we're going towards the bottom here at 22, 31, and then towards uh, 20, 2087 uh, next. Uh, so 20 exponential is holding, and we're not managing to break above the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are all favoring the downside at this point. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is uh, still uh, struggling. We are just uh, stuck in between the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. And it kind of looks like we are going to see the 220 exponential moving this direction, 200 moving average moving this direction. And that will almost certainly make this drop towards 600, 550, and then lower than that. If we manage to break about the 20 expansion and the 50, then we're probably going back towards the previous highs here at 750. But uh, at this current stage, it doesn't look very good for wheat market. The MACD is bearish, the casting is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You can always support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck, and thank you very much.